Milestones of the Century. In June 1933, Washington became the spawning ground for what was perhaps the most startling egg ever hatched by Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal, the National Recovery Act. Heading the fledgling organization was General Hugh Johnson. The famous Blue Eagle, emblem of the NRA, was soon emblazoned on almost every product in an America that was fighting to lift itself out of a major depression. Aim of the NRA was government control of major American industries through codes of fair dealing. These fixed maximum hours and minimum wages opposed the open shop and required businessmen to open their books to government inspectors. Americans everywhere were split on the issues the NRA raised. The New Deal had charged the land with a strange new concept of economic and social vitality. That same year, the Prohibition Amendment had been repealed, and the government was using other means to fill its coffers with revenue to pay for its radical reforms. The question was, how far would the NRA go? That question was answered in 1935, one month before the NRA came up for extension. FDR fought to salvage the Blue Eagle and lost. The decision on the NRA's constitutionality came to a head when it was contested and brought before the Supreme Court by the Schechter Poultry Corporation of New York City, whose members are seen here. The Supreme Court declared the Eagle exceeded the powers of Congress under the Interstate Commerce Clause. Nine old watchdogs of democracy had dealt the NRA a death blow. President Roosevelt now faced the problem of reorganizing his New Deal to conform with the court's decision as he marshaled members of his famous Brain Trust to keep his program of progress in high gear. General Johnson had this to say. Today, NRA is in confusion. Its enemies are rearmed. This is no time to lie down and quit. Time to stand up and fight. All America rose to the challenge, calling its giant productivity into action. Leaders of sometimes conflicting viewpoints, like Clinton L. Beto, head of the National Association of Manufacturers, and AFL's president, William Green, were united in common purpose. Progress within the law had prevailed among democracy's cherished milestones of the century. Thank you.